Have you ever wondered why aeronautical engineers, despite their extensive knowledge of aircraft, are not allowed to fly airplanes? It's a question that might have tickled your curiosity at some point. After all, these are the people who design, build and understand the inner workings of these magnificent flying machines. They're the brains behind the physics that keep thousands of pounds of metal soaring high in the sky. The engineers who dedicate their lives to understanding the minute details of aerodynamics, propulsion systems and structural design. Yet when it comes to actually flying the aircraft, they're not the ones sitting in the cockpit. They're not the ones with their hands on the controls, guiding the airplane through the vast expanse of the sky. It seems like a paradox, doesn't it? The masterminds behind the creation not being the ones to operate it. So why is it like this? Keep listening to find out. First off, let's get one thing straight. Knowing how to build or design something doesn't necessarily mean you know how to operate it. This principle is easy to understand when you think of it in everyday terms. Consider this. You may be able to assemble a computer from scratch, knowing exactly where every wire and chip goes. But does that mean you can write software for it? Probably not, unless you've spent years learning and practicing coding. That's because building hardware and programming software are two different skill sets, both requiring their own unique knowledge and practice. The same applies to aeronautical engineering and flying. Building an aircraft requires a deep understanding of physics, materials and engineering principles. Flying an aircraft, on the other hand, demands a unique set of skills, including spatial awareness, quick decision making and fine motor control. Just like our computer example, aeronautical engineers are masters of aircraft design, but flying is a different kettle of fish altogether. Piloting an airplane requires a specific set of skills that are distinct from engineering. And those skills aren't picked up overnight. They're honed and perfected over years of rigorous training. Imagine the life of a pilot. It's not just about knowing how to steer an aircraft, but also about understanding the intricate mechanics of flight, weather patterns, navigation, and so much more. This knowledge isn't gained from textbooks alone. It's earned through hours upon hours of real-time flight experience. Now, let's talk about the physical aspect. Pilots must maintain a certain level of physical fitness. They need to have excellent vision, hearing, and reflexes. Their bodies must be capable of withstanding the physical stresses of flight, including changes in pressure and prolonged periods of sitting. Next, we have the licensing process. To obtain a pilot's license, candidates must pass multiple rigorous exams that test their theoretical knowledge and practical skills. These exams are no walk in the park. They're designed to ensure that every single person who takes control of an aircraft is fully equipped to do so. Lastly, there's the matter of continuous learning. Aviation is a rapidly evolving field. New technologies are constantly emerging and pilots need to stay updated. They frequently undergo refresher courses and simulator sessions to keep their skills sharp. While engineers are skilled in their own right, they don't typically have this specialized training. And then there's the human factor. This is where the world of piloting truly diverges from the realm of engineering. Pilots must possess a unique blend of psychological and emotional skills that simply aren't found in the standard engineering curriculum. To start, let's talk about decision-making under pressure. Picture yourself in a cockpit 35,000 feet in the air with a dashboard full of blinking lights and alarms blaring. It's not enough to understand the mechanics of the situation. You also need to keep a level head, make split second decisions and act swiftly and accurately. Then there's the matter of leadership. A pilot is not just someone who flies an airplane. They are also a leader responsible for the lives of hundreds of passengers. This means being able to inspire confidence, manage a crew and handle any interpersonal issues that may arise during a flight. We also can't overlook the importance of communication. Pilots must be able to articulate complex ideas and instructions clearly and concisely, whether they're talking to air traffic control, their co-pilot or the passengers. These are not just skills, they are capacities honed over years of rigorous training and real life experience. They require a certain temperament, a certain mindset, a certain human element. And this brings us to a key point. These are skills that aren't typically part of an engineer's training. So let's quickly recap why aeronautical engineers don't usually fly planes. Firstly, we've explored the paradox of this situation. 
Despite the fact that aeronautical engineers are the masterminds behind aircraft design and understand the mechanics of flight to a T, they're rarely the ones piloting these marvels of technology. And there's a good reason for this. The key distinction lies in the difference between theoretical and applied knowledge. Aeronautical engineers are well versed in the principles of aerodynamics, the mechanics of aircraft systems, and the intricacies of design. However, knowing how a plane should fly from a theoretical standpoint is a far cry from actually being able to fly it. Now let's not forget about the specific training and skills required for piloting. Flying an airplane isn't just about knowing how it works. It's about being able to apply that knowledge in real time, under pressure and often in less than ideal conditions. Pilots undergo rigorous training, acquiring a unique skill set that includes quick decision making, precision control and the ability to handle emergency situations. Their training is not just theoretical, but incredibly hands-on, and they're constantly tested in simulators and actual flight conditions. And last, but definitely not least, we have the human factor. Even the most sophisticated aircraft is only as good as the person in the cockpit. The mental and physical demands of flying are immense. Pilots need to be in prime health, have excellent eyesight, and possess a level of psychological resilience that allows them to handle the stress and responsibility of carrying hundreds of passengers through the sky. Here are the key differences between aeronautical engineers and pilots, education and training. Aeronautical engineers typically hold a bachelor's or master's degree in aeronautical aerospace engineering or a related field. Their education focuses on the design, development and operation of aircraft, spacecraft and missiles. Pilots hold a commercial or military pilot's license, which requires a minimum of 250, 300 hours of flight time and passing the Federal Aviation Administration FAA exams. They may also hold a bachelor's degree in aviation, aeronautical science or a related field. Job responsibilities. Aeronautical engineers design, develop and test aircraft, spacecraft and missiles. They work on the structural, mechanical and electrical systems of aircraft and ensure they meet safety and performance standards. Pilots operate aircraft safely and efficiently, navigating through various weather conditions and ensuring the safety of passengers and crew, skills and knowledge. Aeronautical engineers require strong mathematical and analytical skills, as well as knowledge of materials, science, physics and computer-aided design, CAD, software. Pilots need excellent hand-eye coordination, spatial awareness, and decision-making skills. They must also stay up to date with weather forecasting, air traffic control procedures, and aircraft systems. Work environment. Aeronautical engineers typically work in offices, laboratories, or manufacturing facilities, often collaborating with cross-functional teams. Pilots spend most of their time flying, working in a fast-paced, dynamic environment with varying weather conditions and air traffic control requirements. Salary and growth prospects. The median salary of aeronautical engineers ranges from $115,000 to over $160,000, depending on experience and location. Job growth prospects are strong, with a projected 8% growth rate from 2020 to 2030. The median salary of pilots ranges from $60,000 to over $200,000 depending on experience, location, and type of aircraft flown. Job growth prospects are also strong, with a projected 5% growth rate from 2020 to 2030. These are just some of the key differences between aeronautical engineers and pilots. Both careers require unique skill sets, education, and training, but share a common passion for aviation and aerospace.